Okay, today we've been asked to graph the piecewise function and find f of negative 4, f of negative 2, f of 0, and f of 5 if the piecewise function is defined by x squared plus 8x plus 13 when x is less than negative 2, f of x equals 4 when x is between negative 2 and 1, and f of x equals 2 thirds x minus 6 when x is greater than 1. Well the first thing we want to do is be able to graph this on our graphing calculator. And the trick to graphing these functions on your graphing calculator is that you have to put your function in parentheses and then put your domain in parentheses. Literally type this and your calculator will graph a piecewise function. Let me give you the example. If I type in our first function here, which is x squared plus 8x plus 13 and press graph, I get a parabola. But now if I go back to y equals and I open a new parentheses and I type x less than negative 2 x now how do we get to the less than? If you look above your math key you see the word test. That is where you will find your inequalities. The test button. Click the test button. Zoomed out a little too far. Click the test button which is in yellow and you will find the less than symbol is number 5. Click enter. X less than negative 2. Close parentheses and press graph. What do you see? Now instead of a whole parabola, the parabola stops. Okay? So that's the first lesson in uh, our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful graphing piecewise functions. Now, so down here you would assume the same thing. You put this in parentheses, you put this in parentheses. However, your calculator does not like compound inequalities. So what we need to do is we need to replace this with two individual inequalities. The first one being this part of the inequality right here, which is x is greater than or equal to negative 2. And the second part being this part right here, which is x is less than or equal to 1. Okay? So we'll have to type that in just like that for it to work in our calculator. So let's type that in. So go to y2 and put 4 in parentheses. So f of x equals 4. Open parentheses. Type that inequality. x test button is greater than or equal to negative 2 open parentheses x test button is less whoops not less than less than or equal to negative 1 close parentheses and then our third equation put that in parentheses put that in parentheses and it will graph so open parentheses and then I'm going to open a second parentheses to type the fraction two-thirds x minus six so put that in parentheses then open parentheses x is greater than one graph hmm type something wrong here it's a negative. That shouldn't be negative. It should be 1. Alright, so we see our graph and we see we have a parabola, a straight line, and a straight line. But what about this here and this here? That's not supposed to happen. When you graph piecewise functions, your calculator is trying to connect things. It's trying to connect dots. So the way to prevent this is to go to your mode button, press mode, and you see down here where it says connected. 
scroll over to dot and press enter. Change this to dot mode and now press graph. And you see now the three graphs, parabola, horizontal line, straight line, are not connected. So the first instructions we were given was to graph the function. We have accomplished that. Here is the graph of this piecewise function. The second challenge we were given was to type in or to find these. Now obviously we could plug these values into our equation, but I want to show you how to do this on the calculator. So when I ask you for f of negative 4, I'm asking you if you plug in x equals negative 4, what is y? So I know how to do that on my calculator. If I go to the calc menu, the very first option is value. And the value option asks me if I input an x, it will give me the y, which is exactly what this is asking. So I put in x equals negative 4. And I see that on this graph it gives me x equals negative 4, y equals negative 3. So there's my answer, negative 3. Okay, second one, calc value x equals negative 2 and it gives me this value, only there's a problem. Go back to your original equation, this cannot equal negative 2, but this can equal negative 2. Now. By default, your calculator chooses the first function on your list. When you go to y equals, by default, it chooses this one every time. So what you have to do is you see it displays y1 up here. Press the down arrow and you see it jumps up to y2, the second graph. And when x equals negative 2, y equals 4. And that would be your answer. How about f of 0? We'll go to calc, value, 0. What does it do? It chooses the first function. Well, the first function doesn't exist here. So what do you do? Press the down arrow, and now it chooses the second function. And it gives you the answer, x equals 0, y equals 4. Four. Last one, uh, we want to find the value at f of 5. Press enter. What does it do? Gives you y equals 0. Why? Because it's on this function and this function doesn't exist. Press down. Now it goes to this function. This function doesn't exist there. Press down again. And now it tells you when x equals 5, y equals negative 2.67. Okay? So this is how you graph piecewise functions and how you can plug those plug-in function values into a piecewise function on your TI-83. If you have any questions, please come see me.